for this heavyweight fight. Cormier is 12 years his senior. Blades weighed in at 265 pounds. He will have an eight inch reach advantage. Veteran Eve Levine draws the assignment here. You ready? DC round one is upon us, and if you are somebody that enjoys the ground fighting game, this matchup could be custom made for you. This fight is made for you, but does the grappler try to keep this fight standing? Does he just throw the jiu-jitsu fighter down and then back out? Because even though he's a phenomenal grappler, he will be at a disadvantage if this fight takes too much time on the ground in the jiu-jitsu realm. taking advantage of what is an obvious edge and reach. Oh, stuffs the takedown. Good out. This is him down. Now we'll see if he can advance position. I mean, right into side control. All right, close guard now. Oh, and he escapes up to his feet. Very nice. All right, so again, we find ourselves here in the clinch where there are obviously no shortage of subtleties and nuances, a lot of motions in here that may be a loss on the casual. Absolutely, and it's gonna be the underhook. For all the things that happen in this position, the person winning and controlling the underhook battle is the one out ahead. Massive elbow lands for Clinton. So just over 20 total strikes have landed for Curtis Blades. Cormier gets caught with that punch. Not the easiest guy in the world to hit, but he got caught there. And that's as good a punch as he's thrown off. The punch that lands down the middle, the one that you don't feel, is the punch that lands perfect. And that one lands in perfect. Oh! Oh, single collar tie here. He changes the angle, finds the right spot to land that punch to the head from the clinch. Cormier going for the takedown here, but he changed that. He went single into a high crotch. Oh, he's taking his dude for a ride. Oh, oh he takes it from behind. What a fantastic takedown. All right, well, both fighters pretty comfortable on the ground, DC, but you got to be very careful hanging out here for too long if you're his opponent. Looking for a guillotine. Oh, we're getting a finish here. Wow. Oh, big combination of ground and pound strikes here, DC. This could be the beginning of the end. I mean, you got to be very careful when you take these big ground and pound strikes. You need a control posture on the bottom. And if you're the top guy, the guy that's looking to finish, continue to gain posture and rain down big strikes on your opponent. Oh, the ground and pound is there. Well, there are a few things more fun to watch in mixed martial arts than these type of transitions and scrambles on the ground. All right, back to the live action now at the start of round two. And there is Curtis Razor Blades. And on the other side, there you are, Daniel Cormier. Driving the back of the head, pulling forward on the head. Perfect entry there, and finally he gets his first takedown of the fight, and they say, if at first you don't succeed, try, try again, was able to get him down there. Persistence pays, and that's what we saw with this young man. Over and over, he shot for takedowns, he tried to mix it up, and he got defended. But eventually, he got it done. Now, what does he do with this top four? Cormier's got the full mount. I mean, how many can he take? Nice job using his strength there to posture up. We'll see what he can do now. He's going to start looking to land big shots from the top. Cormier's attempting a rear naked choke now. He is doing a really good job of relaxing, not panicking because he's getting choked. His opponent's got double hooks in now under the chin. It's starting to get deep. Oh, now he's in trouble. Submits courtesy of the rear naked choke. That guy's got a squeeze up. He does a great. 
Well, you can tell he has been working hard on his submissions in his training camp. That was a near-perfect setup on that choke. Sunk it in deep, and the opponent had no choice but to tap out or go to sleep. He chose to tap out. All right, let's take a look back at the replay as he gets it done by submission tonight, champ. I mean, you know this guy has such a great submission game that you cannot lay in his guard. He's so skilled. He's so tricky and he's so good at weaving a web that gets you lost in it that he made him pay for it tonight and got the submission victory. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Eve Levine has called a stop to this contest. At two minutes, 15 seconds of round number two, declaring the winner by tap out due to a rear naked choke, Daniel DC Hall! All right, so there he is, all smiles and rightfully so after he gets the job done by